Hi everyone, welcome back. How was your weekend? It is a beautiful Sunday here. Um, me and my husband had a great weekend. We normally choose to do something fun every single weekend. So um, I went on a shopping haul and he got another tattoo. Um, this was something that we did together. We had like a day together. Um, and normally every Friday we spend time together without the kids. So we set that aside. I know that last time we were on here, we had a good talk about manifestation. And I told you that today we are going to be talking about manifesting love. Everybody wants to love and feel loved, right? It's such a wonderful sensation. Along with love comes compassion and intimacy and sharing each other's dreams and loves, hopes and fears. Love truly is one of the most profound experiences. You hear it a lot. People say, I found my better half. A lot of people feel like they're actually lacking in life until they find their one soulmate or that true love. And people tend to even become a better person once they find their true love. Pushing aside that selfishness, pushing aside bad habits or things that they've been doing. A lot of times when you find your person or your true love, you glow up. However, and unfortunately, there are a lot of people, many people who have never found their true love. And so that's what we're on here to talk about today is how to attract that love. So you have the key to manifesting love. By doing this, you also have the key to showing others how you want to be treated, how you want to receive love, how you want to reciprocate love, and the feelings you want others to show you. So how do we attract our perfect mate? So along with manifestation, in order to do this, you must emit love, right? We cannot be walking around and not emitting love, but also trying to receive love. That's not how the universe works. So the first step would be to practice emitting love because you must project it. Otherwise, how in the hell are you going to receive it? Things that can help with this that I talked about um, in the last manifestation video are EFT tapping. And I know that we didn't get too deep into that. I didn't really explain it much, but EFT tapping and also romantic affirmations, right? Use those affirmations and say them daily. By doing these things, this is going to help you emit the correct energy, right? You're putting it out into the universe with those romantic affirmations of what you want and how you want to feel. And soon you are going to believe it, doing it day after day after day. You're going to become that person and eventually that right person is going to come to you. So while doing these affirmations, you need to get clear on your intentions. Why do you want to attract love? Write these out, journal these. Why do you want to attract love? What makes you a great person for someone to love? What do you have to become to be the person that you want the person in your life, what would you have to become for them to love you? 
not saying change yourself, but there are things that we do that we can always level up and make ourselves better at. So you have to get clear on these before you are able to attract your dream partner. Whatever insecurities you have, now is the time to work on them. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you are beautiful, that you deserve love, that you deserve trust, that you deserve communication, that you deserve respect. So take a look at yourself, believe that you are beautiful and that you are worthy. After manifesting your true love using these techniques, not saying it's going to be tomorrow, manifestation can take some time, it is hard work. After you manifest your true love, there are still going to be some bumps in the road. Love isn't easy, love isn't perfect. Um, and no matter who you're with, there's going to be issues. Does that mean that if you're in love with someone who treats you like shit, you stay? No, that does not. But if you find your soulmate, um, there are things that you can compromise for. So if you're dating right now and you feel like you found your person, or you are even married or um, after you find the person of your dreams, you need to constantly assess your relationship. This is very important. Um, it's kind of like doing like a daily task that we do, cleaning out our email, um, taking our vitamins, drinking our water, right? These are all vital to our health and this is vital to a healthy relationship. Nowadays, it is so easy for people to just stop trying. People love the chase and then they get into a relationship and they stop trying. And this is why a lot of relationships and marriages fail. Um, love is like a flower and you need to water it and you need to nurture it for it conti to continue to grow. Um, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. It is probably one of the hardest things in life. Um, but once you figure out how to do it and communicate effectively and work through your kinks, it becomes easier. So just think of a relationship as a living organism. It needs to be nurtured. It needs to be taken care of. Small gestures in a relationship can keep the momentum going. Um, it doesn't have to be anything huge, a text message, um, a good morning kiss, a flower. Um, one thing that I do for my husband every morning and night is I put toothpaste on his toothbrush. So if I ever go to brush my teeth and he's not there with me, I make sure that his toothbrush is all set up for him. So you also have to prepare for struggles and losing battles, right? Like I said, it's not all just roses. And people think that things get bad and you can just leave and find someone else, someone else and it's going to be better. And in some cases, that's true. I mean, some cases, people are just not meant to be together. But a lot of times in society nowadays, I think it's just that people don't realize that the same life issues that you go through with one person, you're going to have to go through with another person. Um, so just figuring out how to work through those together. Another huge thing is finding balance between being together and then having each other's space. Um, 
you know, me and my husband, we don't really hang out with anyone else but each other. But um, my husband is gone a lot for work. And so we do get a lot of space from each other. So when we see each other again, it's always new. It's always exciting. Um, keeping the element of surprise, missing each other. That's very, very important. So now that we've talked about manifesting love and um, if you already have it, kind of how to um, keep up on just making sure that your relationship is viable and healthy. Um, I think next time I want to dive a little deeper into the manifestation with love and talk about manifesting a specific person. I'm sure that watching this, um, there are some people on here who a specific person comes to mind when they imagine being um, or spending the rest of their life with someone. A crazy story. My husband, I met him through his sister um, and even when we were younger, uh, we didn't know each other. Um, he constantly talked about me and tried to have his sister hook me up with him. And um, unfortunately, I never got relayed the message. But um, I truly feel like he manifested me. He continuously chased me even when we didn't know each other and also I feel like I manifested him not in the way that he manifested me I manifested him more in the qualities that he had I had been in so many bad relationships and a bad marriage by the time I was done with all that I knew exactly what I wanted in a man and I had a list and he checked every single box on that list and so this can really happen I mean manifesting love manifesting your person it is a real thing so next time we will get deeper into this and talk about manifesting a specific person um, but keep doing your affirmations. Go ahead and try that EFT tapping. Look it up. Um, and that's just going to help raise your energy and your vibrations. Remember when you're doing those affirmations, do the romantic affirmations. And believe in yourself. We are all, all, all deserving of love. We are all deserving of respect. And we all deserve to be happy. And that's what I want for all of us. So, I mean, that's what I come on here for is just, you know, hope that someone takes something out of this. So, thanks guys for tuning in again and happy Sunday. I love you all.